Thank you. So, um, thank you for coming out on this rather dismal uh, evening here in South Bend. This is an, uh, an appropriate title to show at this point. We, we thought perhaps in early April it might be Spring Brothers or Summer Brothers, but indeed I think the bet was, was safe that Winter Brothers is particularly apt. As you know, the Nenevik film series is a pretty large tent. Over the past 12 years we've shown everything from auteur cinema, social realism, literary adaptation, slapstick comedy, this week we feature a pretty startling and award-winning film that lives mostly at the intersection of hotel cinema and gender studies, I think. This is the first film of his, so work, work with us here. Flinner Palmason, the, the film's 35-year-old director, describes the film this way, quote, This is a brother odyssey set in a worker environment during a cold winter. We follow two brothers, their routines, habits, rituals, and a violent feud that erupts between them and another family. And it's worth thinking about what that other family is. It's a lack of love story, a lack of love story, focusing on the younger brother Emil and his want and need to be desired and loved. This description is pretty apt, but of course it doesn't capture anything about the formal features of the film which make it interesting, uh, and it certainly is on that level. Bonnison is primarily a visual artist uh, who works in a variety of media, oil, Polaroid film, which you'll see some examples of uh, in this film and sculpture on projects that are both representational and abstract. He describes his working method, as many artists do, as very organic. Quote, sometimes it, that is the narrative, has a narrative. I'm sorry, it, the image, has a narrative bigger than a moment. So I just follow that. Slowly it evolves and becomes, for example, in Winter Brothers, a film. Now, Palmason is new to filmmaking proper. He was born in 1984 in Iceland and has made some highly regarded short films as a student. And Mala, uh, a painter, won Best Film at the Odense Film Festival in Denmark in 2013 and Best Short Film at the Reykjavik International Film Festival in 2014. And that film was a portrait of a lonely painter. And loneliness tends to be a, a theme in, in this film as well. His graduation film, uh, it's called Seven Boats, and was an official selection at the Toronto Film Festival in that year. He's now working on his second feature-length film, A White Day, which, he, which we know very well of here in South Bend, which he describes as a modern mystery thriller and expects to finish in a year or two. So, to turn to this film, you might expect that for a film that foregrounds brothers, Winter Brothers will remind you of, say, Cain and Abel, Jacob and Esau, Moses and Aaron, the brothers Karamazov, maybe? Caleb and Aaron from Steinbeck's East of Eden? Rocco and his brothers, if any of you are Visconti fans? Frito and Michael Corleone? My favorites, Primo and Secondo from Big Night. Great film. Even, uh, this, is, this is a football school in some ways, Peyton and Eli. So there is some sibling rivalry in this film between Emil and his older brother, Johan. But here are the key words that I'd use to, uh, instead. The world of the work. The absence of fathers and the presence of their surrogates. Absence of intimacy, but an interest in what evokes it. Masculinity, militarism, meaninglessness. Artificial versus natural worlds. Here you'll see a lot of images of the factory versus running in the forest, for example. And of course, that old standby darkness and light. And last, there are a lot of still shots. Remember that I said that Palmason is also primarily a visual artist. So there are a number of still shots in this film which I think are invitations to, to you to help construct, if not narrative, at least the, the context of the action uh, of the film in a larger frame of reference. And then there's sound itself. So prepare yourself. There are some very loud sounds in this film. And uh, Paulson has said, I work with sound as the interior of the film, and I work with visuals as the sort of exterior. So a couple of visual motifs to look for and to watch out for. Windows, whether they are uh, opaque, translucent, or transparent. Darkness, which appears in very surprising ways. Uh, and last, it's worth thinking about the film's ending, which is pretty enigmatic, and um, you might think about the extent to which it represents progress or 
or resolution to the kinds of tensions that the, that the film addresses. This film has been nominated for and won many awards already, among them the European Jury Award at the Angers European First Film Festival and the Forward Future Award at the Beijing International Film Festival. He's considered a, uh, an important new, new voice in, in Nordic cinema, I guess you could say, post-Christian cinema in that area, perhaps. This is a film, I, I would say, enjoy the film. This is probably not a film that you're going to feel cheerful about um, in many ways, but it's really a, work, it's a film worth thinking about. Uh, and I wish you uh, a good experience in that, perhaps in Jungian terms. So, Palmasen is the filmmaker to watch, and this is his first feature length. Enjoy. Thanks.